Hey everyone, with the holiday season approaching, I thought it'd be a great idea to create a holiday gift guide for Rubik's Cube lovers. Whether you're a beginner at solving the Rubik's Cube or can solve it blindfolded, I think these gifts would be a great way to celebrate the Christmas season. Alright, I have my wife here, Caitlin. Many of you know her. She's been in a lot of previous videos. And for the help of this first gift, I especially needed her help. So, we have this awesome Rubik's Cube fanny pack! How cute is that? <laughs> oh wait, it's not a fanny pack. Aww. If you haven't guessed by now, my wife and I are pregnant and we are due to have our first baby in April. We found this on Amazon. I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys and I cannot wait to put our child in it. This is not one of the 12 gifts that we have on the title there, but this is just something extra. <laughs> I'm sure our child will solve the cube before like it can talk. <laughs> right? That's going to be my goal. Yes. <laughs> the Rubik's Cube that I recommend most is the Rubik's Brand Speed Cube. It recently came out uh, as opposed to the original brand when you can't really move it too well. It's kind of sticky. So those are mostly in stores. Um, but we're going to have links uh, in the video description for all these um, toys or gifts that we recommend. This is my favorite cube. Um, I totally steal it and make this pattern all the time. It, it moves like butter. Like, I love playing with it. <laughs> for the second gift of Christmas, I really recommend the mirror cube. It's very similar to the 3x3, so after you perfect the 3x3, definitely pick up one of these. It's very close to the same. Just once you kind of learn the patterns and the different sizes of the mirror cube, but it's essentially solved the exact same way. I have a tutorial already made for this cube, and I will put it in the cards at the top right hand side of this video. So yeah, second gift of Christmas. The third gift of Christmas is the 4x4. Um, so I feel like this is the hardest cube that I have besides like the Mega Minx and you know those more of the shapeshifter ones. Uh, more of a standard Rubik's Cube, um, the 4x4. The reason why I think that is because there's a lot more like parodies rather than the 3x3 or like 5x5. Um, so yeah, 4x4 is the hardest one that I have in my collection um, that's just a little bit more difficult to solve. Here she is all messing up my cubes and I have to go resolve it. Wait, oh. wait, wait! Oh my god! I did it! <laughs> Good job. I'm gonna put this back up on the shelf. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? That's the first cube I solved. This one? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the fourth gift of Christmas is the Pyramix. And as Caitlin just said, this is the first Rubik's Cube that she has ever solved. Or not Rubik's Cube, but the first puzzle yeah. that she solved. I paid attention to a tutorial and totally solved it. <laughs> Is that my tutorial? Yeah! <laughs> nice. I'm glad it's working for somebody. <laughs> but yeah, this is a super fun cube. Uh, really easy and definitely recommend this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have Caitlin take the reins on this one again so you can't see what it is. <laughs> Can you guys have any guesses? So we highly recommend this for beginners. It is the Ivy Cube. And I have to brag, I saw this before Noah did. She did. <laughs> I literally got it out of the box and she took it from me and she just <laughs> fiddling around with it until she solved it and she did. I did. So, like I said, beginners, there's no algorithms. It's really fun. We have a tutorial if you want to check it out. It's her. Watch it. <laughs> the sixth gift of Christmas is the 2x2 Rubik's Cube. Or, it's also this really cool one that Caitlin found online. Yeah. I was browsing Amazon and I found this really cute bear. We don't have it, but we have a photo of it. And apparently, four years old and up, you can solve it. So I thought this would be really fun for youngsters that want to get into cubing. So yeah, I put this 2x2 Rubik's Cube in this uh, gift guide. Uh, just because, again, it's more for beginners and then also you could solve it in two algorithms. So, it's, it's a pretty fun cube. I should try that. I haven't done that one yet. Do you have a tutorial? I do. <laughs> I'm going to make another one though. Oh. Uh, it's an easier one, so maybe <laughs> she could do that. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you got yourself I should have said <laughs> For the next few gifts, I will be showing you some Rubik's Cube accessories. And this first one I find is very important because 
Um, it's just a tool made specifically for Rubik's Cube. I mean, if you have a screwdriver, like a Phillips head, you should be able to just pop off uh, one of the caps of a Rubik's Cube and just tighten it or loosen it if you need, but they make actual tools for them too. So you could either have uh, one of these tools or um, maybe buy some lubricant or something like that. The eighth gift of Christmas is a Rubik's Cube light. What's really cool about this, it's fully functional. That's like, crazy. Isn't that really cool? I could totally see that by your bedside at night. That looks so neat. Yeah, so you just could turn it off or on in the back. That's so cool. Yeah. It even comes with this handy dandy stand <laughs> that you can put it on, so. Yeah. You're all set to go to bed. <laughs> Our ninth Christmas gift is this awesome Rubik's Cube Bluetooth speaker. Try saying that five times fast. Rubik's Cube Bluetooth speaker, Rubik's Cube Bluetooth speaker, Rubik's Cube Bluetooth speaker. Rubik's Cube Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> so <close. laughs> I think this is cool because it lights up too. So what do you do? Just like plug your phone in? Yeah, so you can just plug it in with your phone. Um, there's some buttons on the bottom and whatnot to pair it to your phone or like any Bluetooth device. Then you can rock out to a Rubik's Cube. Pretty much. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Bluetooth mode. Whoa. Bluetooth mode. <laughs> and again, the link will be in the description below uh, if you want to pick up one of these. For the 10th gift of Christmas, we have a Kleenex box holder. Um, this one's actually really like more special to me than just one you could find on Amazon because my grandma's friend just handmade it um, and she gave it to me as a gift. So I just thought it was really cool that she even you know, made this on her own. So it's really neat, but they do have some on Amazon that you could buy as well. Or if you have somebody creative in the family, you could have them make you one as well, but. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be allowed in video. Next. <laughs> so the 11th gift of Christmas is this Rubik's Cube mug. I got this for Noah, our first Christmas that we were married, so. He doesn't Blech. use it, but <laughs> he displays it. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually used this. Um, Might be kind of weird. It's like square, yeah, so it's... not really working, but... She just drank my pee. Ew! <laughs> All right, so for the last gift of Christmas for this Rubik's Cube guide, we actually don't have a physical copy of it, but I really want one so bad. <laughs> This is really neat. Uh, Caitlin actually found this on the internet. So I found this awesome Rubik's Cube game where you're supposed to race the person you're playing to find a certain pattern. It looks really fun. Yeah. So we thought this was really cool and an interactive way to hang out with friends and stuff. So. Yeah, that's just another super fun game to have in the family. Yeah, we might need to pick one up. <laughs> Hopefully this holiday gift guide help you get some ideas for the keeper in your life. Yeah, and we I know that Caitlin and I had a fun time sharing some of these recommendations with you, but if you have any ideas for us, please let us know. Um, I need some ideas for this guy, so leave it in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> and we want to thank you so much for watching, and we hope you guys have a good rest of the day.